<laughs> mm, superstar. <laughs> Molly Shannon is most well known for her six years on Saturday Night Live, as well as the characters she created like Sally O'Malley and Mary Catherine Gallagher. But now she is changing into another field, writing a children's book, Tilly the Trickster. Shannon is currently on tour to promote her book. One of her stops was at Wentz Concert Hall at North Central College, where she had a book talk as well as a book signing. So what thoughts did her fans have when hearing that she wrote a book? I thought it would be more about her time maybe on SNL or as an actress. And I wasn't expecting a children's book from her. You know, I think anybody should go in any direction that they want to go in. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, she, this is just part of who she is. She's a mom now. She has little kids. And I think that uh, she just brings whatever talent and comedic uh, uh, expertise that she has to you know, writing books yeah. and stuff now for kids. I know a lot of celebrities have been trying to write kids' books, and it usually doesn't work out. However, her becoming an author did not come as a surprise to them, as Shannon had about six years of writing experience during her time on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I guess it did prepare me. Like, I think Tamar was like, wow, you're so quick. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I'm used to Because on Saturday Night Live, we would write stuff. Basically, you have to kind of try to write your way into the show. But Saturday Night Live is like a writing job where you have to be a writer, performer, and figure out, you know, characters and things to get, get on the air. Shannon's first book, Tilly the Trickster, is about a devious child who likes to play tricks on her family and her friends at school, too. While waiting for my school bus with my classmates, I get in the mood for more mischief. I think of the perfect trick. I say, hey, you guys, the bus already came. You missed it. I guess you need to walk to school. My friends fall for the trick and start walking to school. Some of them even run because they're afraid they'll be late. When the bus finally comes, I'm tickled that I get it all to myself. I really did do that trick when I was four years old on a bunch of kids. <laughs> Tilly is another one of the many characters Shannon has created since her days at SNL. Who's the inspiration for Tilly? Is it you? Is it your kids? Is it some relative? Who is yeah, it? Well, my dad growing up was really silly. My dad raised my sister and I alone, and he was the kind of person who would, you know, when we were like 10 or 11, he, if, if I was with him and we were going into a candy store, he would go, let's pretend like we're blind. So he'd walk in and be like, ah, I can't see. Is this chocolate? And he'd like try knock down boxes of candy. And he just, he was very, very silly. Her fans all seem to greatly enjoy the book, both children and adults alike. They also enjoyed hearing about Shannon's life as a child and her time on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I think that my favorite kind of person is someone who is just themselves. And then whatever comes out, comes out. It's like Oprah's like that. There's just certain people who have the ability to connect with people. You know that it's really coming from their heart. Molly Shannon continues to make people smile and laugh, whether it's on television, in a book, or even in person. Reporting live from NC Today, I'm Tom Keeble.